Howdy, Tammy. Hi, how are you? I'm well. You ready for the 39 hour? Always. Thank you. Got quite a crew, about 45 eager anglers ready to go out. The Dolphin Watch boat. It is a packed deal down here today after now, Thanksgiving. Things, guys, some of you guys might need to. I'll leave that up to you. Those people up there are the people right, wishing they were like going fishing. You ready to go get them, sir? Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Where are you coming from? Uh, Tarpon Springs. Tarpon Springs. Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Damn straight skipping. How about you, sir? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. All right, here you go, Bob. This one's for you. They swing and ride. All right. Good job, Will. Thanks, Josh. Well, we're, we don't have Bob out here with us this week, but Howdy, Bob. Howdy, Bob. How are you? Uh, we finally got some good weather, and uh, the stars are aligning again. We had a good trip last week, and good on the groupers, good on the mangroves at night, and hope to do something similar here this trip. We got a crowd out here. We got 43 people on here this trip, but the fishing's good enough where everybody's going to catch some fish here, I think. Sounds good to me, man. I'm due for some gags as my birthday present from yesterday. Oh yeah, and Thanksgiving, late Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, late Thanksgiving. All right, the All right we'll we're going right out into the sunshine. Beautiful Florida day here. Temperature probably in the high 70s. Might've hit 80 earlier today. Very few clouds, no rain in sight. Got a major cold front coming, but it shouldn't hit us until we're back, back in port. It should, that's the key word. There's the pelicans waiting on our return. Good idea, the bridge going up. The captain just announced we're going to start fishing about 1 o'clock tonight. to make our first drop of the evening <clears throat> we've traveled up a bit further north than we normally do in search of some good fish there's the omnipresent jason ever at the watch ready for the horn to beat Already started he'll figure out the anchor and see if it's holding and he'll tell us to drop them so I'm gonna go over here and get ready well the captain just told us to wind them in on the first stop picked a few mangoes kind of slid off of it of course the first stop is here. we're getting ready to make another stop and we'll hopefully get on them a little better captain's got a better idea of the anchor heading but not a bad first stop I got a couple myself He's got a fish on. We'll see what he's got here. He's whining, cranking on it. Red snapper. Is it? Probably a red. Mango. Nice mango. Mango. Yeah. 
came up here. I even caught a dumb one. You got a gag, sir? Yes, sir. It's a happy Thanksgiving. Who are you again? My name is Joe. I'd like to thank Hubbard's for making fishing great again. I, Joe May actually caught a gag grouper, man. Joe May, back in the house, man. not going to stop spinning now, is it? There's some dumb ones down there. I got one, too. Pick it up from our second stop here. Been the best stop so far. Got about six or seven gags. I got one. There were several nice mangoes, including one probably at least eight pounds. I got one about five or six myself. Will is patiently awaiting further instruction. for the next one. Got a fish on, sir? Yeah, motorbite. We will document your catch. All right. We got like four or five really big mangoes. Oh, yeah? Like six, five, four, five, four to six pounders. Right. Oh, mango? Including about a four pound pork. All right. That uh, star rod you got me? Yeah. Broke about that far down from the tip. Can I get three guys? You rest, he rests. You'll turn around you and go rest, straight back rest. down if you don't if you don't keep pressure on him. You'll go right back down. I say, if you don't keep pressure on him, he will turn and go right back down. Now he got stuck on my shirt. I got him smiling now. I got him smiling good. There he went. talk to everybody about the trip yeah but well, not everybody how'd y'all enjoy it man you enjoy it you guys enjoy yourself it was a good trip we got did you enjoy yourselves oh yeah definitely absolutely okay 239 i pulled a couple of big mangoes off this spot overall good trip absolutely well this is it we're heading in this is the last pull. you heard was the anchor coming inside the chute. We 
have the omnipresent Chase grouper in one hand, bait bucket in the other. Well, you guys did a pretty fair job, I'd have to say. Yeah, we got another 40 or 50 grouper. That's what I was saying on the report. Is that that mud right on top? Yeah. Yeah, nice butt. That's a contender. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, it's a tough call. That's a mango. probably bigger though. I yeah, I think mangoes are bigger. But he might be. He might be thick. All right, well, I'm going to do my little job and clean out the bait wells. I will check back in with y'all probably when we're looking at the John's Pass Bridge. Great way to end the Thanksgiving weekend, wouldn't you say, fellas? Yes, sir. Not to mention Big John's birthday, baby, on Thanksgiving. Well, good morning, everyone. As you can see, we are now back, back here at Madeira Beach, John's Pass, about to go through the draw bridge. He's up here and show you. It's a beautiful morning here at John's Pass. I'd say it's in the uh, upper 60s. Still only about a two foot chop out here. Crystal clear skies. I don't know, I'll give you a little panoramic view. Maybe you can see it. It's hard for me to know exactly how it turns out on the camera. But it is absolutely gorgeous. But we're coming up on the pass. There's the bridge. Had a pretty good trip overall. It, the weather was spectacular. No more than about a two foot chop, which is a good, you need, a, you need a little bit of breeze to get an anchor heading. Weather probably got up to maybe 80 during the day, 70s overnight. Fish bit pretty well throughout the trip. Uh, it was what the captain Garrett would call a picky trip in that uh, we picked fish on every single spot. There was only a couple where it was really super hot. And um, the odd thing, there was an odd thing about this trip. It was the, I would call it the tail of two sides. It was like the port side, which I happened to be on, uh, was uh, kind of slow. But the, uh, the starboard side was pretty hot most of the time. The hottest spot on the boat was the uh, starboard corner on the stern. For some reason, every I don't know if it was because the way the current was flowing, which wasn't bad, but it was directional, or the way the wind was blowing in proportion to how we were sitting on the, the brakes. But uh, the fishing was spectacular there. Most of the grouper were caught right in one area, not even just on the stern itself, but in one corner. And a lot of break-offs on a couple of spots. Um, but uh, we ended up with at least 30 grouper. So there was, a, there was probably about 45 people on the trip and we might be pushing close to 40 grouper actually. I ended up with one decent one uh, at the beginning of the trip basically. The first, uh, or I think it was actually the second stop of the night, I caught about a 15 pounder. And then uh, the mangoes bit pretty solid most of the time. And, I had, uh, I had some really nice ones. You can see the bridge opening in the background now. But I caught, my, my average size was very nice. So I'm not complaining at all, just making an observation. I did lose a couple of big fish. Even one on the very last stop rocked me up. So uh, I had my, my chances, so I can't complain at all. Other than moaning and losing a fish. But uh, the grouper bit really good during the day. The mango bite was fairly steady. There wasn't a lot of beeliners and porgies this time. A few porgies, but the beeliners that were caught were smaller than, than average, I would say. But uh, overall, a solid trip, no issues, weather fantastic. One more weekend trip. There's a couple of more midweeks. I think there's one actually this, this week. But there's one more weekend trip 
uh, till the end of the year. If you're wondering why, well, it's because of tourists, basically. People, a lot of people now choose this area to vacation on during Christmas time, and they love to go on these half-day trips, great five-hour trips that Hubbard's offers. And the uh, boat of choice is the very one that we're standing on right now, the Florida Fisherman 2, very comfortable. And so they do a lot of double, they double up half day trips throughout kind of the Christmas break. And so if you're coming down here and you're uh, not going on a 39 hour or an extreme trip, think about going on a half day trip. It's great for your family, kids especially. It's a good excuse to be out on the water for five hours. And uh, right now the weather is lovely. Although there is supposed to be a pretty strong cold front heading this way by late tonight, early tomorrow. But a cold front for us and a cold front in Michigan, a couple of different things. Anyway, the pass is beautiful. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Tony. How y'all doing? Good, how about yourself? Good, good. Have a good time. Oh, I had a blast. My first time ever catching mangoes. Cool. Well, we got some good pictures of you doing that. Good videos. Oh, well, thank you. So you'd recommend it to others, the trip to others? Oh, yeah. No, this boat's like first class. It's nice and comfy. The mates, Will and Jason, are awesome. Captain Garrett, he put us on the fish. I mean, there's nothing. They you know, were there. Keith might have not caught much, but, you know, he they caught a, He caught a, probably the biggest grouper right no, there at the end. Yeah. I'm doing my review. Will absolutely make sure that all my friends that we do these trips. I do this, it four times a year. On this is the place to be. Oh, big time! All big right. time. Well, have a have a safe journey going home. Where where's home? South Florida. South. Uh, yeah, in Coral Springs. Oh, okay. Well, have a safe journey. Yes, sir. Now, that's something you don't see every day, but you wanna barrels full of gas. They're all mine too. Put them there. Put them in the water. Barrels of gas. I'm going to need a lot of ice to make up for the lack of fish. Nice stack of goosers there. A couple of balsam mangoes right there. Look at those. Not often you see mangoes packed. I put what I need here over here. Yeah, the rest of them have to put them on the All right, I'm going up there anyway. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted to put them up there or not. Beautiful fish. Oh, there it is. Bugs Bunny fish. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people might not know what that is. It's called a rabbit fish. And when they first come up, man, they are chomping at the bit to get you. They want to get you. They want to get you. I'll get you, get you, get you. How'd you slime my nose from up way over Inside here? Inside the nose. Yeah, it's like... Back Took some talent. Is it mine? Is it on the bed? You guys done? Yeah. We already did the video, D. It's all good. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. All right, we have a, now we have a video of the videographer <laughs> who will be doing a show tonight at 8.30, right? Yep. 8.30 across the Facebook network. Every Sunday night. Every Sunday night you get Captain Dylan Hubbard and some of the things he'll be talking about on his show are right in front of you. I'll be there tonight. Oh, you'll be there tonight? Nice. Does that make the ratings go up or down? <laughs> Nice fish. 
Get in, get in, get in. Nice mango, sir. Thank you. Is that the that. hook you caught him with? That cooler's filling up. As full as it's going to get. Oh, yeah, that's it. Well, you can put some ice on. You should have put more ice in the bottom. No. Nah, you put more ice in the bottom, then when you open it up, it looked like, man, that cooler's overflowing. I will help you, sir. Thank you. I'm even, vi I'm videoing the fact that I'm helping. Do you see all this out there in video land? See how much I'm helping here? Rick. Is that all you got? Rick. You can turn it on and off at the, at the hose itself. Too. It's got a little thing at the, on there at the very tip that All right, here we go. It's on its way to Jacksonville, right? That's right. Decent size. Yeah, that's a nice tree. And uh, ignore the remora. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to eat well in, the, in Jacksonville. Right. Pretty good. Yeah. I'm hungry already. Oh, man, you gotta come back. I'm not sure that mango is a contender, but uh, <laughs> you can always try to stuff some lead down his mouth. All right, guys, I'm going away from the shit. 15. He was 15 before. I don't know. I was going to keep you guys heavy. Oh. 16, 3. Check out these stuff with left. Yeah, this, yeah. Guy, this one's heavier. Alright, where's the mutton? Yeah, I like how his mouth is closed shut. Nice mutton, but not quite as big as the mango. One last stroll down here. These guys are cleaning their own fish here. Yes, sir. Doing a great job. Getting started. Get it's started. Getting started. Okay. Beautiful fish. Here's the people lining up for the fish cleaning. Skip the party. I'll talk to you before then. Skip the next guy. Take care, my friend. Appreciate you. All right, we're going to get Will cleaning a nice gag grouper. He's got a helper here waiting for anything that might go astray. Oh, yeah. And the omnipresent Jason is somewhere. Somewhere here, right? resolving yeah. something. I think that bird is looking at that grouper cheek myself. Oh, they love, they love grouper cheeks. The birds do. One of their favorites. So how many of these you think you've done in your lifetime, Will? Yeah, I've played a, a few one or two groupers, you know, here and there. It's putting the, a lot of pressure on me, I realize. The first side is the easier side of the two, in my opinion. Beautiful. Nice stocking stuff over there. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna have to go buy some too. Don't do that at home. Mm -mm. I know you probably dad. I know. Did you find Julio? I remember you got it. Yeah, one of Julio's got two strings. Yeah, I know. I looked all through school. There's no record for that. Yeah, I remember the fish, dude. This is it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Now that is a bold pelican right yeah, there. He's trying yeah, to get a 
job telling you. Beautiful animal, I look at him. I thought it was a I thought it was a Are you not, Mark? I thought it was a It's not a big one. You might have missed it. You might have missed it. All right, he's doing the second side now, which he says is the tougher side. One of the keys to cleaning fish, ladies and gentlemen, is have a very sharp knife. Yes, very sharp knife. Yeah, have you got Most any sharp Yeah. Did you, uh, did you give me a swipe? Uh, I figured out we can give him seven. Uh, is he okay with that? No, I would be the penalty with something to do. He's cutting out the, the cheeks the now, which is a prized part of a gag. A lot of people don't notice, but the, the grouper cheeks are, are considered quite the delicacy. So it's only three, three strings right there in each corner. I thought we were going to call that fish. I'm pretty sure I don't know what it is. Basically, you scoop them out like ice cream. The red guy, he was right there to look. These, none of this will go to waste. These carcasses, most of them will go to crab traps and, and pinfish traps. Yeah, I mean, the guy got up on the truck with me. Alright, where's the strange now? It looks like Jason is going to take it to the actual Jason. fillet stage. Sir, sure. sir. Sure. Now what? Selfies at Hubbard. You know that might be on the internet. Some of y'all might be wanted. Just I'm just saying. Is there a reward? Is there a reward? What about uh homeboy? The one we gave it to? 36. Did you see that? With who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He already got that one, didn't he? Oh, he didn't, he didn't clean it up right? You tune up, man? He's taking the main bones out of the fish now. Yeah, not much bones in there, but that right there. I want you to watch what happens to this skin. Boom! <laughs> now he's going to divvy it up a little bit for the bags, make it better for the bags. Alright. And there you have it. Alright, this is officially ending the trip here. We're heading into the office. People are getting ready to go out on the the half day fishing trip, I do believe. Good luck to y'all. But no trip would be concluded without the lovely ladies of Hubbard Marine. Good morning. They make it all possible. Good morning.